So I'm gonna have some Weetabix. Oh man, we haven't got any milk. Oh no! Good morning everybody, welcome to the monkey bedroom. What do you do first thing in the morning? You make your bed. Job complete. Always a good idea to make your bed first thing in the morning. It means you've completed a task, you're gonna set yourself up for a good day and you're probably gonna keep your missus or your parents happy. Before we start today's wonderful daily vlog, I've just released my brand new sun strips. I've released two, which are really, really sick. This is the first one. This is the Monkey Madness Stealth Black. They're all finished in like a sort of gloss black stroke anthracite, so like a dark grey and they look absolutely sexual. Check these bad boys out man there we go look at that what a beast they're literally impossible to photograph because they're so glossy as you guys can see they're pretty sick I'll show you the black ones as well they're 135 centimeters by 25 centimeters so they're a universal fit they're pretty much bigger than most windscreens out there unless you've got like a truck or something pretty much just fit them up cut them out to size using a, a blade and yeah look like a dog this is the black one and they're actually made out of hexic polymeric vinyl which is very very good quality basically you know what i'm like i'm trying to get really really sick quality stuff and they're built to withstand five to seven years of uv weather john action pretty much the same as the other one minus the the monkeys in the background so you've got it's like a, a more simple one or a more complicated one there you have it pretty pretty sick i'll chuck me website address down here if you guys want to check it out and do a buy i'm really putting the effort in with the packing of the sun strips as well. I've got these nice little boxes that I bought which I'm putting my monkey stamp on and then I'm just using um, red tissue paper inside to kind of line it just to make it like a bit of a present. Also massive thanks to all the new patrons that we had in the last week. You guys have been legends. We had Andy Harvey, Gary Cooper, Mr. Shea, Connor McCandless, Rob Dowson, Jeff Reitzel, Matt Pipe, Lewis Hode, Jordan Ramshaw, Dave and Kyle Campbell and Mr. Biggie. Massively appreciate you guys joining up. Don't forget as well, if you want to chat with me daily, I've got a Discord on my Patreon where we've got a community of about 350 people. You can talk to me directly on voice chats. You can speak to me like on the phone or you can talk to me over text as well. I'm going to be back on the simulator. We're going to start going through all the new bits that the Sara very kindly done in the last couple of weeks for me. As a lot of you will know, I've got a specific, well, I've got two ML Assetto Corsa servers linked to my Patreon and Discord. So yeah, if you wanna come and do some racing with me, feel free. I've had a whole host of new upgrades done on the sim. Initially, you know, they really kind of made these simulators specifically for professional racing drivers. I was one of the first sort of drifters to come along. To be fair to Vasara, they really went above board trying to get this all sort of set up for drifting. And yeah, the end results are on next level. Now we've got the new handbrake, the new pedals, and all the PC upgrades. It's literally transformed the sim. Morning, Henry. Hello. It is time for a bit of monkey breakfast, I do think. We're not gonna have a fry out there, very, being very boring. A, we haven't got any eggs, and B, I can't be bothered. So I'm gonna have some Weetabix. Any other Weetabix eaters in the house? I like Weetabix. But how, how many Weetabix do you have if you do have Weetabix? I have two. Hopefully I'll prepare this right. Last time you guys said I didn't. I didn't cut baguettes properly. I think we need a bit of light. All right, a couple of these. I kind of just crush them out. Mmm, Weetabix. Oh man, we haven't got any milk. Oh no. Oh. Right, slight change of plan. We haven't got any milk. So... <laughs> How am I going to put this back in the Weetabix packet? Shit, man. I know. Look at that. I'll save that for another day. That lovely, hearty snackaroo. Take two. Monkey's gonna have some toast for breakfast. We've got bread. Yeah, we've got bread. Woo! Thanks, boo! I'm gonna have two bits of toast. Can't really eat that much in the morning. Anyone else struggle with eating? I don't struggle. I just don't, I just can't eat like properly, properly until about 10. Right, bread is in the toaster. Check out my sick toaster as well. Managed to get this refurbished for a cheaper price, but it's really sick. Jewelé. It's a German brand. They're all sort of fully metal and polished as well, which looks really sick, and they've got nice sort of chunky elements. Don't know why I'm doing a toaster review, but this is the Monkey London Madness. Lovely bit of toast, and I'm gonna be doing some strawberry jam. 
because everyone likes a bit of strawberry jam. And we've got real butter as well, none of that fake plastic shit. This is the real stuff. Hey, voila, breakfast is served. One more. A few moments later. The time has come for a little bit of sim action. So yeah, like I mentioned, Vasara have been absolute legends. Obviously you saw the Hoosink Velt Ultimate Pedals. We've also lowered the pedals down to the next slot here as well. This over here is the latest revision from Vasara. We have the new Hoosink Velt handbrake looking absolutely sick complete with a load cell as well, so you get a progressive feel. So it's like a real handbrake, if you pull it a little bit, you only get a little bit of pressure. The only drama we've got at the moment is this bush is too stiff. If you guys look here, it's actually quite sort of stiff to pull it. Vasaro today have actually posted me the softer rubbers. They do three rubbers. They do a green, which is like a medium. They do a black, which is super hard. And they do a white one, which is much softer than this, which is what I'm gonna be swapping out to. But for now, it's a working handbrake nonetheless. We are still running the Fanatec shifter. Obviously I did have a lot of problems with the Fanatec pedals and the Fanatec handbrake, so we've now swapped those out for Hoosink belts. The shifter did have a few issues with disconnecting, which we actually noticed was a problem with the wiring and not the shifter itself. So we've replaced all the wiring. Fingers crossed the shifter should be doing what it should be. We've also got a whole load of PC upgrades as well. There's a new motherboard in there. We've got a 1080 Ti. Uh, graphics card, which is a sort of pretty serious bit of kit and much better than the graphics card I had before. Two 256 gigabyte SSD hard drives. Yesterday, me and Kieran from Fazaro, we actually put little labels on all of the cables so we can kind of identify what goes where. Because I'm doing Twitch, I'm actually using a huge amount of USBs. Obviously, I've got things like the foot cam, the head cam, um, the pedals, the gear stick, the handbrake, the Elgato Stream Deck, microphones. Yeah, you name it, I've got it. So hopefully we've now got enough USBs to keep everything working. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty exciting for me. I haven't actually, well, I had a very quick go about two minute ago yesterday, um, but I haven't really played the sim since we've made all these upgrades. So I'm pretty stoked to see how it goes. I'm gonna start off with a little practice run at Bahoku in Japan using the BMW E92, which is a DCGP car, uh, roughly 650 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque and FD spec. I will get another set of black Converse very shortly, but in the meantime, we got these cheeky little white numbers. Right, here we are in the Dragon's Den. First time using the new simulator set. I'm pretty, pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. Right, just tuck these wires out of the way. So yeah, like I mentioned before, Bihoku, which is a very famous track in Japan. You guys will probably recognize it from the um, Driftworks Outsiders movie with Mr. Mitto and yeah, E92 FD spec. Let's give it a bash, see what happens. Ooh, those new pedals look gorgeous. Look at those bad boys down there. Pedals feel so good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. So, initial impressions are really good. The pedals are quite stiff. They're like a sort of pedal box like you get in a race car. So, I'm probably going to be getting quite a strong 
um, pair of feet, no doubt. Handbrake feels really good as well. I might just adjust the sensitivity. I think it's coming on a little bit too aggressively too soon. Um, so in a second, I'll just lower the sensitivity, but we'll carry on doing a few more laps just so we can get used to it. Keep going for that invisible handbrake. Missed it again, car's bulky, the handbrake's changed position, you donut. What the? Oh. Yeah, not quite used to it yet, boys. Right, let's do a little twin with Mr. Ryan. Got off the bank. <laughs> oh, sorry, Marius. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell I haven't played this sim for a while. I am literally dripping. You probably don't realize you do actually need quite a lot of energy and manpower to operate that sim. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this cheeky little episode. I'm gonna be back on the sim on Sunday. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. Thanks.